why do we build roads? When loads were light, Mother Earth was the only road we needed. With the invention of the wheel, these loads increased and we started getting into trouble. Soils generally consolidate under repeated loads. But when it is not strong enough to resist the applied load, the wheel sinks in and material is pushed up on both sides. This is known as a shear failure. To counteract this, we build various layers of compacted material which spread the applied load onto the underlying earth. We choose materials with high cohesion and angle of internal friction to increase resistance to shear failure. We compact the layers to increase the density and by increasing the density, we increase the strength. Now we can travel with ease on the compacted layers until the rain starts. Moisture softens the material and causes it to lose strength. Now we seal the road surface and drain the water away and we are off to the races. Until we increase our loads even further, two concerns arise. Is the material strong enough to withstand the applied stress? And can the material spread the heavier load sufficiently to protect the subgrade? There are various pavement solutions to address these concerns. And in the next episode, we'll see the different types of pavements and their applications.